okay, a quick demo of the ruler. So the ruler itself. And we have a pull line. We have the round over section. section between here and here as a set measure specifically for me then we have a dovetail template simple compass angle finder this is similar to a set square so we just tilt it and we'll mark here and then we'll have some angles set this is what I use on a regular basis and then if we insert Pencil here and here, and one in the middle on the edge of the board. Twist. That's a center finder. Okay, so here I'm just marking out for the total thickness of the ruler. I'm just going to square up one edge here Here I'm just um, using the clamp to stop the, the wood from splitting I'm just about to drill the hole for the round over circle First attempt and it actually split so I'm being a bit cautious here I'm just squaring the, the edge up now just to make sure everything's nice and square. I'm just marking out for the overall thickness here. 
and then I'm gonna just plane it with a smooth and plane. There's not too much to take off, so it doesn't take too long. I'm just marking out for the shoulders for the, the square portion and the dovetail section. Now I'm just making some knife holes to make sure all the cuts are nice and crisp and accurate. I'm just marking out for the compass holes and also for the center finder holes. I'm just drilling for the compass holes now. Uh, these these were fiddly, they're not in line, and I should have taken my time and used uh, an awl. So I would definitely use an awl if you take the time to do that. Yeah, I'm just cutting for the shoulder lines. I'm just cutting the rule up to its final size now and then I'm going to square it up with the plane and shooting board. Now I'm just going to remove the waste and this will um, create the square and the dovetail template portion. Now I'm just cleaning up the saw marks with a card scraper. Here I'm just creating a bevel, just so it's easier for me to make the markings for the, the measure. 
and also to read as well. Here I'm just marking out for the ruler portion. I'm just using millimeters, that's what I measure with. Um, I'm doing five millimeter increments. Uh, you could do more if you want to do. Um, I was being a bit lazy. I might update it, I'll have to see. I'm just using the Stanley knife to score the the measurements I've just made so it's it's actually into the wood and the marks can't be wiped off or rubbed off through time I'm going to be constantly there Yeah, I'm just um, punching some numbers, didn't really work out too great and it become apparent that the wood I'd selected, which was a kiln dried oak, was really dry as sticks and it wasn't a good choice, some air dried beech would have been perfect for this, but it serves a purpose. Yeah, I'm just marking out for the angle finder. This is exactly the same principle as a speed square. I'm scoring the wood here for the set angles that I use quite often. I'm just going over the numbers where I've punched with um, the pencil and I also going to all the scores I've made, all the millimetre measurements with a pencil as well before I wax everything. Yeah, I'm just giving it a final sand, taking off any rough edges, just neaten them up a little bit before I apply a final finish. There will be a, an article to accompany this, um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, you can also check out my social media, I'll put links to those as well. Uh, if you like what you've seen, um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.